Alright, it's a quick video on how to read aviation weather reports. This particular one is for the hourly forecast, or the hourly observation, the METAR, and the forecast, the TAF, which is a uh, six hour forecast. Um, well, technically, it's a 24 hour forecast that is uh, transmitted every six hours, so four times a day. Um, we're looking here at uh, uh, O'Hare and then Gary and then I have uh, South Bend and Lafayette. Um, this is the uh, the the weather reports. Um, first first thing you're going to see right here is the airport, and then the next thing, the uh, let me let me just back up a little bit. This top line is the METAR, and then the second thing is the TAF. The um, the first thing you see is uh, the uh, uh, airport identifier. This uses the IKO four letter um, airport code rather than the normal three uh, letter code or three digit code for the airport. So um, all continuous uh, lower 48 United States airports start with the letter K. Um, I'm not sure about Hawaii and Alaska. I believe uh, Hawaii is a P, and I'm not sure about Alaska. Anyways, KORD O'Hare. Um, it's going to be using the Zulu time, which uh, we'll talk about later in another video. But uh, it's August 19th at 0251 Zulu, so uh, nine minutes before 3 a.m. Zulu time which uh, at O'Hare is um, almost 10 o'clock at night. So it's right now it's like 10:20, uh, so that's about 30 minutes old. Um, the winds were the next thing you come so they're in the same format every time. Airport identifier timestamp. So this is 19 of the current month, whatever the month is. So you just got to know the month then the Zulu time, and it tells you it's Zulu with the Z, then the winds. And you can tell it's winds because it uses the KT, which is the abbreviation for knots. So the direction is the first thing, is the first three digits, zero, or excuse me, zero, uh, one, zero, zero. Um, so it's coming out of the south, uh, uh, southeast at seven knots. Zero, seven is the knots. If it was gusting, it would have a G, and then the uh, the gust speed so it'd be like zero and zero at seven gusting to so g twenty so if it was gusting to twenty you'd have g and then a two zero then um, ten sm statute miles ten statute miles visibility and then sct that is the abbreviation for scattered clouds at zero seven zero that's seven thousand feet then it's bkn broken at zero eight zero or 8,000 feet. OVC, overcast at 25,250. And then the temperature in in uh, Celsius is 21. Right there. Temperature 21. Slash 10. Dew point is 10. A is the altimeter setting of 2996. And then RMK is the remarks. AO2 is the type of reporting station used. So it's an A sauce that is capable of precipitation discrimination. And if you look in the um, the FAA weather book, um, I'll go through a bunch of uh, books in another video as well. But uh, the weather book will give you all of the. Uh, um, all of the abbreviations and it'll break this all down for you so it's basically going to do what I'm doing you can use it as a reference if you see something in there even to this day I still see things um, occasionally on weather reports that I'm like what is that usually it's a notum um, but uh, occasionally there's something like um, uh, like a smoke uh, out out in Colorado, there was the wildfires, and uh, um, there was the FU. So um, that was something that you don't see every day uh, for the smoke. So it's, if you don't see, 
if you see something you don't know, you can always go reference the uh, um, the weather book. Uh, not sure off the top of my head the exact like designation of the book, but it's the aviation weather book. Um, you can probably Google search it and find all this stuff too. But anyways, back to this. Uh, remarks, AO2 is the ASOS with precipitation discrimination, which just means that it can tell the difference between uh, rain, uh, snow, freezing rain, whatnot. Um, SLP, sea level pressure. Now this is a more, slightly more accurate um, description of the altimeter setting, and it uses the hectopascal scale. Now, 1013, somewhere in that neighborhood, is the uh, C is the um, the same as the 2992. So we're slightly above 2992. So we know that we're slightly above 1013. Okay. So this is a tricky one. So it's 14 th or it's 143. Sea level pressure 143. Now the way to the what you need to know is is if it's close uh if this is like a let's say this was nine four three or i'm sorry yeah if this was nine four three you would put a nine in front of this so um it would be nine nine four three but since it's one four three we go we put ten in front of it so ten one four three so this is 1014.3 hectopascals and we can verify that because we know we're at 2996 which is greater than 2992 and so 1014.3 is greater than uh, 1013 so um, our aircraft we can switch um, between hectopascals or uh, inches so we never use it because we're in the United States and we use um, the uh, inch scale and not hectopascals. But um, I guess uh, maybe if you were flying to somewhere else in the world, they might use that. It's kind of useless information, but just know that that's sea level pressure and it uses the hectopascal scale. And if the three digits here is uh, close to a thousand, you're going to add a 9, and then you're going to put a decimal point in um, just before the last digit. If it's um, close to like 100, like this one, it's 143, you're going to put a 10 in front of it, and you're going to put a decimal right before the last digit to make it 1014.3. And then this next um, block, it's a temperature block, okay? And this is a um, exact temperature reading. So 0211 is um, 21.1 degrees Celsius. We, we already know it's 21 degrees Celsius out there, but it's technically 21.1 degrees Celsius. And then um, it's 10 degrees exactly on the dew point. So it's 0, 1, 0, 0. So it's um, 10.0 degrees um, Celsius for our dew point. And then, not in view currently, let me see if I can't squeeze around. Whoop, my computer shut down. Um, 52008, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what that is. I think it's the, um, um, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, a, 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 like a serial number for that particular reading. So that was um, Mitar O'Hare Mitar 52008. Um, but I'm not 100% certain about that. All right, I'm going to end this. I'll make the, the Taft in the next one because I rambled too long on this one. Thanks.